Hey guys, uh, my name is Matt from HKN and today I want to talk about source transformations. But before I dive into the source transformations, I want to go over this problem which will kind of outline the topic of source transformations for you guys. So in these two circuits, we're looking for the voltage over this load resistor. And for this, uh, for this one, we have a voltage source and this one we have a current source. For this one, the voltage across the load resistor will just be equal to the current through the resistor times the resistor. And this one we have RL over RL plus RS times VS. And that'll just give you 1 over 2 ohms plus 1 ohm times 6. And that gives us 2 volts. And now for this one, we have to do a little something a little more complicated. We have to find the equivalent resistance, because these are in parallel, and then we can multiply that times this current source to get the voltage over the resistor, because they're in parallel. So this one we have VRL is equal to RS in parallel with RL times IS. So, and this is pretty easy to find, you just multiply RS times RL over RS plus RL, and then we have the current source over here. So this is going to be 2 times 1, 1 ohm over 2 ohms plus 1 ohm times, and then the current is 3 amps, and this will also give us 2 volts. So this suggests that in each case we can replace the, this circuit with this circuit and they would give the same result. So in the next slide I want to talk about how we can switch between a voltage source and a resistor in series and a current source and a resistor in parallel. Alright guys we're back and so now I want to show you how you can transfer change from a voltage source with a resistor in series to a current source with a resistor in parallel. Okay, so from here, you start with the voltage source and the resistor in series. And to get the current source, the current source equivalent, IS is equal to VS divided by RS. And then we can write that the exact same as this if we have the same resistor, if this is an example showing how you can go from this this. And then if you want to go back from the current source in a resistor in parallel to the voltage source with the resistor in series, your Vs is going to be equivalent to Is times Rs. All right, in the next slide I'll show you how to do a problem using this topic. Okay guys, we're back and now we have an example problem to do. Uh, in this example problem we have both a current source and a voltage source and we want to find the current through this second resistor. I've left the, these up diagrams up here so you can follow along if you want to, but I'm going to get right into it. So first, I think the easiest way to approach this would be to, be to transform this into a current source, and then we're going to solve that from there. So to get our current source, we see we have our voltage source here and our resistor in series. So I'm going to do, to find the current source, I'm going to do Vs over R1, and that gives us 20 volts divided by 5 kilo ohms, and that's 4 milliamps. So then redrawing the circuit down here, I can draw a current source. And now we just have that one resistor in the middle. And this is going to be 4 milliamps. And then we have this uh, current source over here. And this one's 2 milliamps. And this, of course, is still 7.5 kilo ohms. And now we have two current sources in parallel. So what we can do in this case is we can add them up since they're in parallel to get one current source. So I'm going to bring that right here. So now this is going to be the final circuit. Oh, and this one I forgot this resistor. So, and this is going to be 5 kilo ohms. Sorry about that. And then, so now we're just going to have one current source, but we're going to have two resistors in parallel. So this adding these up, 4 milliamps plus 2 milliamps, that's obviously 6 milliamps. And this is still 
kilo ohms. And this other one is, this is going to be the same as it was before, 5 kilo ohms. And now we're looking through the, for the current through this second one right here. So what we want to do from here is we want to find the current. Go, we want to use the current divider rule to find the current source here and see how much current goes through this branch. So from here, we're going to use current going through this branch is equal to this first resistor, R1, and this is R2, sorry, over R1 plus R2. This is just current divider rule times this current source, IP. And from that, we get 12.5 kilo ohms divided by, whoop, sorry. Five kilo ohms divided by twelve point five kilo ohms, and that's times six milliamps, and that gives us two point four milliamps. And now, you, as you can see, in this case, solving the circuit to get one current source instead of having a voltage source and a current source made it a lot easier for us to find the answer. So, uh, so depending on what circumstances you might have, you might want to go from current sources to voltage sources, but it really depends on the problem. In the future, there'll probably be more examples, but that's all for now. So, thanks for watching.